Severe Pride. Yo, let's try and make a drill beat for Post Malone. Let's go. For the first melody, we went into Keyzone Classic. This is a free piano VST and it holds some real nice sounds. So if you haven't already, I'd definitely go and check this one out. We went in and grabbed this Rhodes piano preset. For the effects, I've got this EQ taking out some lows and highs, dipping some of the mids. And I've got a vintage Valhalla reverb with the mix turned down to around 20%. For this beat, we're working in 144 BPM and I'm over in B minor. This is the pattern that we came up with. For the second melody, we actually jumped into Expand and I went in and grabbed this Glassy Violin preset. For the effects, another EQ, taking out some lows and highs, raising some of the high mids. I went with a Free Reverb 2 and I've also got this Free Magic Switch preset. Real simple pattern, this is what we've got for that one. And for the final melody, we jumped straight into arcade. I went into the hook section, my absolute goat when it comes to vocal chops. And we went in and grabbed this Rest Assured preset. For the effects, another EQ, taking out some lows and highs, raising a few mids and dipping a few low mids this time. I've got a vintage Valhalla reverb with the mix turned down to around 34%. And I also went with the Fruity Phaser on this one. This is the pattern that we've got for that one. Now this is all three patterns that we came up with played together. Oh, that sounds clean. What are we gonna do now? I'm just gonna start adding in some drums. So first off, I'm gonna go in and grab a counter snare. Sounding nice. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to start adding in some percussion. So I'm going to grab a few snares, a few perks, and we're just going to get the bounce going. So let's see what we can come up with. So we've got a nice little pattern on the go. I've kept it fairly simple. I've got a few different main snares hitting and we've got quite a few different perks and snares filling up certain pockets as well. What this does is just fills up some of the empty spaces in the beat and basically just adds to your bounce even more. So this is the pattern that we have so far. Oh, 
Oh, that is sounding nasty. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to waste no time once again. We're going to get straight into the 808. Yeah, baby. Hey, that is sounding sick. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to add in a kick and we're going to make the 808 punch a little bit harder. Oh, that sounds hard. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to right click the pattern, split by channel, and we're going to go ahead. I'm going to rearrange this into a full beat. So I've got a nice little bit of structure on the go. I've added in a few different effects out of my kit. And what this does is just lets a listener know that there's something new about to come in at the end of the bar. We've also got these beat cut outs here and there as well. This just adds to the tension of the beat and basically it just stops the track sounding so repetitive as it goes on. Finally, I've added in my tag in there too. And I think that pretty much tops it off for this one. So I think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen. Hey, nice little breakdown and then straight back in. Hey, this one is sounding too lit. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well. I'm going to go ahead, finish off mixing and mastering this beat now. But if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram at SevereProd to keep updated with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that I have coming out soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.